Hey guys, welcome back. Now we are onto the scoreboard. So first thing first, a generator. I told you what is the generator. I just a device so that uh, things are continued, right? So in the generator block, same thing. Configuration we have the handle, and then we have the some tasks, right? We are calculating the address. Address we are calculating. Then datas we are calculating, and uh, new functions we are just uh, uh, whatever as the arguments, right? That is getting assigned to the local class variables of Generator block, right? And uh, in the run phase, we are just uh, calculating the address and calculating the data and just putting the packets into the mailbox. That's it, right? And we are passing this mailbox to the driver one, to the driver two, to the scoreboard. But where else it is passing? It is passing to the coverage as well, right? So we are, we are doing that. That's it, right? And that is how we are calculating the function as per the configurations, right? That's it. Nothing, nothing very. Uh, things okay now, now next next is the scoreboard so it's a important block what we are doing in the scoreboard we are doing the comparison whether things are test cases passing or failing right so how how the scoreboard works so you see uh, we have our own memory here we have declared our own memory right you see we have declared our own memory now uh, how is the how is the argument coming right you see in the environment we will see the environment right so the scoreboard scoreboard is coming like this way scoreboard new packet one packet four and packet one and packet four these are the same things which are going to the driver one and monitor two so in a way uh, driver one and monitor two other other stuffs we are monitoring right so whatever uh, comparisons we are doing is uh, scoreboard we are passing the packet one and packet four so in a way uh, so whatever monitor two has assigned values for packet 4 right and uh, whatever packet 1 what are the values which are driven uh, to the driver 1 right that information we are passing into the scoreboard what was the driver 1 used for driver 1 was used for the write information right driver 2 for the read information monitor 1 monitor 2 are reading the data 0 out and data 1 out right hope you got this much right so so if, if you got worse this much Okay, one more thing is like in the driver one, in the in the driver one, uh, which uh, which thing we are driving, which which driver packets we are driving. So you see, uh, W R uh, in the packets, right? We are we are seeing uh, for we are writing the W R zero, right? So W R zero corresponds to data zero. Okay, W R zero corresponds to data zero, and W R one corresponds to uh, for data one. The duty output ports, right? And so let's go to the scoreboard. So you see, uh, we are creating our own memory here, right? So we are creating our own memory. Own memory created. So one memory is there, which is there inside the duty. We are not using that duty memory. This is a separate memory which is created, right? Then we are having the two mailboxes, right? Two mailboxes on the scoreboard. You see, uh, it is receiving the information from monitors and it is receiving the information from the generator block, right? So it is receiving the information. So monitor to scoreboard, right? Now, you see, uh, in the new function, we are assigning this dot packet one is equal to packet one, this dot packet two is equal to packet two, this dot generator to scoreboard is equal to generator to scoreboard. So what we are doing here is we are assigning local variables local variables of this class of the scoreboard or scoreboard okay from arguments from arguments right okay? that's, that's all we do in the new function then there's an external class so that we can complete in line number 20 only okay run received expected right in the run phase you see just i'm using Run phase and I'm and not join none, right? I'm using the false statement, so uh, these two tasks will run in parallel. I don't care, right? So you see what is what is in the received task. In the received task, so I am waiting for the monit for the scoreboard, right? Monitor to scoreboard. I'm waiting for the packet two to be received. Okay, packet two is coming from where? Okay, so let's see packet two. 
how it is coming it is coming from the environment let's go to the environment so okay so we we have some stuff right let's draw it for clarity right so we we had this way this is packet 1 packet 2 packet 3 and packet 4 what what is inside the packet 1 packet uh, 1 was driver 1 packet 2 driver 2 we, we are passing this in from environment right packet 3 it is monitor 1 packet 4 monitor 2 packet packet is itself what what is packet a packet packet itself what tell me packet itself is this this this, this is a packet right data in address data out enable right that's it these are the variables okay we may need to drive these values to the in one case uh, we are driving it to the interface in one case the interface values are getting driven to the packet right in which case uh, interface values are getting driven to the packet in the monitor case which case packet values are getting driven from the interface monitor in which case packets values are getting driving driving the interface in the case of drivers correct simple nothing, nothing very complicated here right so you see uh, driver 1 driver 2 monitor 1, monitor 2 now you see uh, what we are doing here in the received thing we are receiving the monitor 2 scoreboard right we are receiving trying to receive the get packet 2 right we have declared two packets here you see packet 1 packet 2 okay so don't confuse uh, uh, this packet with this one right so th this is in the environment one so this is the different wrapper altogether now in the scoreboard there is packet 1 packet 2 okay and packet 2 okay names will be similar but things are different right altogether and this is monitor to scoreboard dot get packet so we are receiving packet from the monitor okay now so packet 3 or packet 4 these two things are getting you are getting in the scoreboard that's it nothing more than that right so we are receiving the packet here that's it received packet we have received some packet from the monitor okay you, you see packet 2 from monitor we have received right now what we are doing if if you are saying packet dot data out right so whatever received packet is there right so what is the variables there data out is not equal to memory and packet 2 in the in the same packet that address which is pointing right it, it is comparing whether it is equal or not if it is equal then it's saying that uh, uh, test case is passing otherwise it is failing right now you see this memory we have not assigned any value how we are assigning the value is from the expected because these two tasks runs in parallel right so this expected will also run in parallel so what is happening in this so from the generator we are receiving a packet one okay this, this packet one uh, remember that this this uh, packet one okay this dot packet one this dot packet two so this is these are the arguments right and we are passing packet uh, from the environment we are passing what what packets is there just let me check we are passing packet one packet four right you see this one packet one and packet four so let's go there so we are passing packet one and packet four so packet one and packet four so in a way packet four is from the monitor two so this thing okay monitor two what we're checking is data one out right of the duty output port right so here we're just checking that right you hope you got it right and uh, And we are trying to see get packet one, right? Generated to scoreboard that get packet one, right? And we are just assigning a value to the memory. We are just assigning the value to the memory, right? So memory packet one dot address 
is equal to packet one dot data underscore in right that is what we are doing right so packet one whatever address is there okay now you now you may say sir uh, the packet four and packet one are two different entities okay uh, how, how will you get the same results right because they have to be a different entity altogether packet one packet four because packet four is nothing but coming from your uh, duty so uh, let me explain you in this way in a much better way so see so explain in this way so what we are doing is you say this is a test right that's it i'm making it very simple and this is a duty okay and this is nothing but your scoreboard let's i'm considering it you, you can say like this is way okay test and this is the environment make sense now now you see this is the packet i am dropping so say i am saying the packet one but what what all the duty when it is driving the packet outside should i name the same thing no let's say i am saying packet two so packet one suppose this dot address packet one dot address okay so suppose i am writing data zero in data zero in suppose uh, suppose was eight take catch four okay so in packet address suppose i'm saying uh, that was six bit right six tick h five is having eight tick h four value that's it right so uh, in this duty this thing okay this memory i have created in the scoreboard okay this same thing i'm passing to the duty duty what i'm doing is in packet two i'm assigning packet two dot in the monitor right packet two in the monitor what i am doing is packet 2 dot address i am assigning that this was the address 60 catch 5 okay and packet 2 dot data out from the duty port right that, that this is the value some value i will get right so i will compare in the scoreboard that it it, it has to return this 80 catch 4 whether the same value when you're reading from the duty right you're getting the same value or not Hope you got it right so in the scoreboard itself i am writing a well so in, in the same so in a way there are two different memory locations this is the address suppose address one this is the address so address one only right same name this is the memory we created suppose this is memory one two different memories are together right and address one is suppose 8 catch f i used Five, right? Similarly, here it is eight take h five. Now this memory is in the scoreboard, and this memory is in the duty. What I am doing is, whatever packets I am driving, right? So I am writing the data zero in. Suppose I have written in the packet data zero in is eight take h four. So what will happen? That particular eight take h five memory will have a value eight take h four. So sorry, 60 catch 5 will have 8 tick catch 4 value. Right? This right. So this is 60 catch 5 read, suppose. Right? Now what I will doing is when I'm reading, I'm reading from the same address. I'm reading. Okay. You have you have done that operation in duty. Okay. You have done some operation in the duty. Maybe you have written something garbage there. Suppose you have written address is equal to some value plus one. Whatever input data is there, plus one should be there, right? So what it will do? So plus one was there. Suppose what will happen? This eight take catch six will happen. Okay. Now in the scoreboard we are and this eight take catch six is getting rewritten in the packet that uh, data zero out. In the monitor we are writing from the interface, right? So this data zero out, data one out. Uh, this will be written eight take catch six. So in the scoreboard this will fail because in one case you are reading the eight take catch five and in the case you are reading eight take catch six, right? So something is wrong in the duty. So maybe your understanding is wrong. Maybe the design was uh, supposed to be that way, but you, you got the specification verification guy and designer also got the uh, specifications. You both got the different specifications. You both thought differently. He, he just thought that whatever 
data is there that has to be added with plus one value. And you thought, no, whatever data is there that has to be written as it is to the memory. Okay. Now in the scoreboard, you are comparing the design and uh, your prediction, and you are saying, oh, things are going wrong. Okay. Uh, and you will go back to the designer, oh, this is the spec problem. Okay. So spec spec person will clarify, no, no, uh, it has to be as same as data. So suppose the location was correct, then DOT has to modify its design. So you understand like what is happening in the scoreboard. Okay. Next, we will discuss on the coverage block next. Thanks.